the Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts. Do you fellas like to come up and leave the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance. Put the pressure on him. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Here's our flag, so. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Moment of silence. Roll call. Councillor Crum, present. Councillor Matthews, present. Councillor Coase, here. Councillor Chamberlain, here. Councillor Allen, here. Councillor Sturt, here. All members are present. We have a quorum. Motion to approve the previous meeting minutes. Second. Motion moved by Councillor Allen and second by Councillor Matthews. Councillor Allen? Yes. Councillor Matthews? Yes. Councillor Sturtz? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Coast? Yes. Councillor Crum? Yes. Six yeas, zero nays. Motion carries. All right, we're going to administer the oath to Jamie Jagir. Following the footsteps of Mr. John Champ. <laughs> Big shoes to fill, Jamie. <laughs> Raise your right hand. Aye. Aye. Jamie Jagir. Solomon swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Solomon swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. In the Charter City of Wauseon. In the Charter of the City of Wauseon. And that I will faithfully, honestly, and impartially discharge. And I will faithfully, honestly, and partially discharge, discharge. The duties of the Office of Director of Finance. The duties of the Office of Director of Finance. For the City of Wauseon, State of Ohio. For the City of Wauseon, State of Ohio. During my continuance in said office. During my continuance in said office. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone, shake your hand here now. <laughs> You're not getting up that easy. Thank you. 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 Because it was brought to my attention uh, a week and a half ago that there was a complaint lodged against the Imagination Kingdom with the musical instruments and the noise that it creates. And I was under the understanding that they were trying to represent our neighborhood as a whole. So as a neighbor of the park, I felt it was fair that the rest of the neighborhood have their voice heard. And I took it upon myself to go to all my neighbors that I could that were home at the time within the last couple of days to speak with them and just see their opinion and if it is causing any problems or anything of the such. And for the most majority, there was only one neighbor that was opposed to the instruments and felt that they were disturbing the rest of the neighbors, which I have close to 40 signatures of neighbors in our neighborhood that were happy with the instruments being there. They felt that they were an asset to the community. We're really happy with the park being there. They aren't finding the, the noise that they're creating disturbing. Half of them don't even hear it. Um, I'm in close proximity of the park and they're not noticeable. Um, I just felt that it was only fair that, that we have our voice heard as well. And I did have a petition, which I had the neighbor sign as well as some other people that I came across in the community at the time, you know, that okay. I had seen. And I guess what I'm asking council to consider is, one, not to remove the instrument. They're a big asset to the park. They serve, they were there in the original plans for the park, it's not a surprise. I mean, obviously they were installed a little bit late, but that was due to the concrete being installed. Um, they're great for kids that are handicapped. Um, they're wheelchair accessible. Um, there's a lot of kids with disabilities that find these components of the playground. You know, interaction, it's something for them where other kids, maybe they could go up to the towers and slide down the slides and these kids aren't. So it's, it's kind of making it 
so that everybody can play and enjoy the park. Sure. Um, so that's what I'm first asking council not to remove the instrument. And I mean, if it becomes a problem and it's a point of noise, that's why I had the petition signed that we're asking that you amend the noise ordinance to allow that it won't prohibit the reasonable and ordinary use of musical components with the Imagination Kingdom Playground, just as you would with the railroad, um, church bells, as in your ordinance for the city of Washington. Well, that's all I have, and I'll pass the question okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Tara. <coughs> Thank you. Thanks, Tara. <coughs> Is there anybody else? Okay, we'll move can on to business. Can we address that, or do you want to talk about it? Or? Well, you can talk about it. You can go back to the park board and talk about it. Um, opinions? Can we just... Sure, what's your opinion? Well, my opinion is it's absolutely don't need to be removed. Uh, there has to be a compromise in there somewhere. They're there. Uh, I was down there. They're somewhat loud, but they're not that loud. And uh, I think Tara did a great job. Uh, it opened my eyes a little bit more. And I'm glad I talked to her a few minutes ago about it because uh, I only talked to the neighbors in front. You know, I didn't talk to anybody else. But, uh, and, and I only talked to two. And, but I know there was three that had maybe complained about it, but um, there just has to be a compromise somewhere with it that, that uh, we can make sure they stay and uh, and just work it out. So I don't know. What's the park board? Well, that, that's a great segue right into a park board uh, uh, meeting. Our park board meeting, we had a special park board meeting on May 28th, and uh, the park board came to consensus to ask Dave Murray to try to muffle the sound coming out of the instruments. Um, so as of May 28th, the park board had asked Dave Murray to attempt to muffle the sound, and uh, I haven't heard whether he's been successful or where he's at with those efforts. Dennis, I don't know if he's reported back to you or, or not. Uh, just briefly, he did have a conversation with uh, somebody at the manufacturer, and he gave him a suggestion or two to try. Uh, I don't think he's had a chance to do what was suggested yet. So park board left uh, the discussion at uh, if the attempt at muffling the sound doesn't work, then park board would revisit the issue. So that's where it's at right now. But yeah, I commend uh, you know, the Rogers family for going out. It definitely shows that there's a lot of support for those instruments. Uh, on the flip side, we heard from a few people that aren't happy with those. So. I would assume the people across the right across from didn't sign your petition. That's correct. Um, the people in the blue house, they did not get their name, but I did speak with them that's directly across from them. Yeah, those, they were unhappy with the noise. But as a general whole of the neighbors and they put their addresses on the petition, they were okay with the noise if it did occur. All right, thank you. Any other comments, questions? Okay. On to business, committee reports. Well, Shane, you're yeah. getting uh, the, the only other thing that we have to address out of park board is uh, uh, Councilor Post and I continue to work on a policy to um, sort of I don't know, formalize how we respond to requests for reduction in shelter house use. So that's all. Other than that, it was imagination team and stuff. All right. Tree Commission? Well, the Tree, <coughs> tree Commission met on May 9th and had a nice long meeting. I have an awful lot of uh, minutes here. If you don't mind, I'll uh, shorten it up a little bit. Do you have any objection to that? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be that short. <laughs> trees are growing. Yeah, trees are growing. Uh, all the brochures have been delivered from the Memorial Tree Program to the funeral homes, uh, something that we do every year. Tom Savage reported that 48 trees have been replaced. There's some dead trees in the boulevard yet. We still have 90 ash trees that are seem to be okay. We'll keep our eye on them. Uh, all the trees have been planted at Homecoming Park that had uh, died last year. Uh, they need to be mulched and staked. I don't know if we got that done yet, Dennis. Probably not. And there's apparently two dead trees out to Biddle Park that uh, they'll be addressing and taking care of. We received a, sign, a street sign for our Tree City USA, which is our 20th year this year for Tree City USA here in Wasiyan. Uh The flower plants downtown, if you noticed, have been uh, planted and, and uh, look really nice. We're uh, short one bush in that southwest corner down there where 
Tree Commission built that three, four years ago down by the railroad track and, and uh, one bush died. So uh, from what I understand, there is an individual that uh, will replace that for free. Other than that, uh, that's all I got. And we'll be meeting again in July. Well, it wasn't too bad, Don. No, I thought, well, that, done, I'm pretty proud. Sure, sure. sure. Yeah. Okay, on the building grounds. Building grounds met on uh, Thursday, May 30th with all the members present, along with uh, Chief Torbett and Sergeant Gonzalez from the State Patrol Post. It was in reference to the State Patrol would like to have a, a place in our Los MPD to come back, do accident reports, and any other time that maybe something comes up instead of a citizen driving from Wauseon or driving to the post down across by the airport, uh, they can just come here and make an appointment with the patrolman. Uh, they're only need a desk maybe hour and two hours at the most while they're here. It's not like they're gonna be stationed here or anything like that. And then they wanna put a sign out front. And all the members of uh, Building and Grounds were in agreement with that. Alrighty. Motion approved recommendation. So moved. Sorry. Motion made by Councillor Matthews and second by Councillor mm -hmm. Sturtz. Is there any discussion? Chief Torber, we're okay with this, right? You're, yes. You're, okay. Yeah. It's definitely a good for us as well as for them. Okay. We have approximately five troopers at this that live within the area of Wasion. And instead of them driving 25 miles down to the post, 25 miles back, they can stop in here, do their reports, get them down, and be back on the road. Councilor Matthews? Yes. Councilor Sturtz? Yes. Councilor Allen? Yes. Councilor Chamberlain? Yes. Councilor Coast? Yes. Councilor Crum? Yes. Six yeas, zero nays, motion carries. We'll move on to the department head reports. Uh, David, you're first on the agenda. I'm continuing to work with Glenn Grisdale with Reveille as it concerns the downtown revitalization uh, project for uh, the community development block grant. Um, we're just working to get uh, the application, all the documentation for the application, so Wauseon can have as much leverage for that application approval as possible. Um, we are on task uh, for that application to be submitted to the state by the state's deadline on June 21st. So. Thank you. Chief? Uh, safety study started up today. We have 65 kids enrolled in the two sessions. Uh, still have a few openings for the second section, which starts on the 17th, if anybody's interested. We have applications down at our office. We're still a little bit short on the funding, about $1,500, so if anybody has any $1,500 extra they don't know what to do with, Safety City will take it off your hands. Uh, from the Tree Commission? Yeah, example? Tree Commission. We'll take it out of our budget. Yeah, we'll <laughs> big budget. Uh, our Youth Police Academy also started this week. We have 16 kids registered, and all 16 showed up. Uh, they will be going th all through this week with graduation ceremonies, Friday morning. Uh, we still have a few openings left for our self-defense class, which is this Thursday. We have 22 registered as of right now, and we tap out at 30. So anybody that's interested, you contact our office or, uh, to get more information or register. So during the Youth Police Academy, do they spend a night in detention at all, just to get a feel for what it's like? <laughs> just the one, just the scouts that are involved. Just the scouts? Yeah. And can parents extend that stay if they requested that? <laughs> no. Not a babysitting service. <laughs> <laughs> just thinking ahead. No. That's it. Thank you. Tom? Well, at the last meeting, we referenced that we were going to start doing our grass letters, and we sent out several. So far, we've spent a little over $300 on mowing, uh, but for the most part, once we've notified the people, they seem to comply. I'm sure the chief can tell you how many have blown that grass in their street, and they had to stop by and notice them. So all I'm asking is that you know, you mow the grass and remember not to blow it out in the street. It gets in the storm sewers, causes public works more work, and blocks up our storms. And you know, 
uh, we're going along. Um, moving Ohio forward, uh, application for payment was submitted. I submitted uh, the documents that I was doing for the grant for downtown. So I think we're moving forward. And Good. if you notice, there's construction out on Shoop Avenue. It's still going to be the new subway. Uh, the contractor said subway wants to be open by the end of August. So they're got to move fast. Um, Tom, uh, the list of uh, repair sidewalks, you know, the sidewalks that need repair, you have a list, right? I, I, it's not complete, but I have the main, the first ones over on Cherry, there's a lot on East Chestnut Street that we didn't get to last year, some closer to downtown here, and then a couple were pointed out on uh, uh, past the church and the library, so. So if people have concerns. Yeah, if they have concerns, you, just, it, I mean, I have had uh, four or five people call me up and ask me about their sidewalk, okay. so. Right. Yeah, that's all they need to do is call the office, 335-5041, okay. and we'll come out and take a look at them. All right. Thank you. That's it. Dennis. Uh, I've been working on the Linfoot Street project. Uh, got a new set of updated plans that Dave Murray and I have been waiting through and are being submitted to ODOT. Um, we aren't too far off from having a the affected property owners invited into a meeting uh, to look it over. That should be happening hopefully soon. Um, other than that, I am. We, we sent five individuals, five employees down to Columbus to take state exams for water or wastewater related uh, licenses. Of those five, uh, three individuals were successful in, in passing their tests. Um, Vincent Bedsole and Sonny Crawford. Uh, both obtained a class one wastewater treatment license and uh, William Reckner, Skeet Reckner, our mechanic, uh, was successful in obtaining a water distribution class two uh, certificate. Uh, so three out of five guys, we actually did better than the state average. The, uh, the state passing rate for any of their wastewater and water um, license tests usually runs between 40 and 50 percent so we did okay so congratulations to those individuals uh, Vinny and Sonny you will remember uh, were part of our uh, brand new program to try to uh, cross train those two individuals they are still public works employees but they've been spending time at the wastewater treatment plant in anticipation of jobs becoming available there uh, due to attrition that's working out. Thank you. Jamie. Um, there's nothing new. The income tax revenue is still growing compared to prior year. Um, and we're still within our budget. So that's all. Okay. Well, Tom, you feel lucky. Last week I forgot Jan. I had to come back to him. <laughs> <laughs> You can move right on then. <laughs> Forgive me, now we're like the bass drum and the orchestra, you know, nobody wants to hear the law department unless there's something bad going on. But uh, in any event, uh, working on a number of projects for each of the departments, um, uh, working with David and trying to make sure that uh, certain grant monies are uh, appropriated for a particular piece of real estate that the um, city took possession of, the address of which will not be named. Um, working uh, with Dennis on uh, some easements to try to get those taken care of on Glenwood, uh, the Glenwood, I want to say the Glenwood Street Project, the airport, the airport highway project. And then um, Tom and I are working uh, with Glenn also, uh, Grizz, I always want to say Griswold, yeah, Grizz <laughs> <laughs> uh, with respect to the pride preservation uh, code uh, amendments that we need to get taken care of for grant purposes. And uh, I think we'll, probably have something that will be ready for the um, uh, council's uh, building or safety and code committee, I guess, for review at some point later this week. So that's, right. that's enough. Enough that's fine. beating on the bass drum for a while. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Very interesting. I have a question. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, Shane. Yeah. Have a fire department question? You know? Yes. Fred, how did the uh, fundraiser go the other night? Did, was it successful, you think? Not as successful as it would have been. You know, I mean, we realized afterwards that there was apparently a lot of graduations going on 
around the community yet. Uh, for those from council that did show up, appreciate it very much. Uh, but we need a lot more money. So if anybody out there has got money wants to give out, we'll take it. That was mine. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you Fred, right besides your uh, graduations, the weather didn't, I mean, the weather been killed everything that people wanted to do on Saturday. It turned out to be a nice night. Right. You guys served an excellent meal. Yes. So it's, it's a good, good deal. Uh, the band was great. Um, it was a new band we never heard of. They were out of Fort Wayne. The one we did book originally called us back just before council last time and said that they had uh, double booked that evening. So they found us this band. So we were very appreciative of that. Good. So good. Well, it's, it's, it's a shame no people that show up, but it's, don't give up on it. No, we're not. It's we're a not. good program. We're not. We're not. So we just need more money. We all do. Yeah. And all right. A, along the same lines, the fire department of where we're at in the chief process is that all the applications are in. Yep, and applications are all in. We're starting to work on that. Okay, good deal. Thank you. Moving on to third readings. Uh, there's no first or second, so a resolution 2013-14 authorizing the mayor to enter agreement for mutual aid in fire protection services with the United States Secretary of Air Force. Third reading. Second. Motion made by Councillor Crum and second by Councillor Coast. Is there any discussion? Councillor Crum? Yes. Councillor Coast? Yes. <coughs> Councillor Matthews? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Allen? Yes. Councillor Sturtz? Yes. Six yeas, zero nays, resolution 2013-14 passes on third reading and will be in effect in 30 days. Resolution 2013-15 authorizing the fire chief or his designee to provide fire protection and emergency services upon request to other political subdivisions in the state of Ohio. Third reading. Second. Motion made by Councillor Sturtz and second by Councillor Matthews. Is there any discussion? Councillor Sturtz? Yes. Councillor Matthews? Yes. Councillor <coughs> Crum? Yes. Councillor Coast? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Allen. Yes. Six yeas, zero nays. Resolution 2013-15 passes on third reading and will be in effect in 30 days. There's nothing on the new business. Anybody have any comments? Questions? Okay. Uh, motion to approve the bills as presented. So moved. Sorry. Motion made by Councillor Coast and second by Councillor Sturtz. Councillor Coast? Yes. Councillor Sturge? Yes. Councillor Allen? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Matthews? Yes. Councillor Crum? Yes. Six yeas, zero nays. Motion carries. And we'd like to go into executive session now for the purchase, possible purchase of real estate. Uh, yeah, motion. Yeah. So moved. Second. Second. Motion made by Councillor Allen and second by Councillor Sturge. Councillor Allen? Yes. Councillor Sturtz? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Coast? Yes. Councillor Matthews? Yes. Councillor Crump? Yes. Six yeas, zero nays, motion carries. There will be new decisions made after yeah. we're so on. No, I should talk to you. Thank you. Uh, I don't want to put a lot of things like that, but I don't know about the next year. I passed that uh, on. Uh, and it's on the list for removal. It was already on the list for removal. What's that? No, it's 